YouTubelicious. What the foop time? What the f oh my goodness. Explosives mistakenly left at a Sydney airport by federal police during a sniffer dog training. Poor puppy. Yep. Happened in Australia. And it so happens, thought this was submitted by Ut Utalayan Warata, aka the Naked Wombat. <laughs> Alright, here's, here's what happened, alright? The Australian Federal Police. IFP has been left red faced after an explosive device used during sniffer dog training was left in a sick case at Sydney Airport. Alright. The IFP apologised after the suitcase containing about 230 grams of plastic explosives. Accidentally ended up in the hands of a female passenger on Tuesday afternoon. How do you not notice? Like, it was like a stick of TNT. She's like putting on some lipstick. And it's, it's sizzling. And it's probably the wake of... Oh, this is a hot lipstick. This is very... Oh, it's lit. It's a TNT stick. It's not lipstick. Maybe it's Maybelline. No, might be it's explosives. Open your eyes, lady. <laughs> My God. <laughs> the device, which was not live. Oh, well, that's not fun. <laughs> it been comical if it was a cartoon and it was live. You'd be like, no, lady, don't know. Anyways, back to the story at hand. <laughs> the device, which was not live was hidden inside the unclaimed suitcase during what the AFP said was a routine canine exercise. The suitcase, containing an explosive device, was then mistakenly given to the woman whose luggage was damaged during a flight. So sorry about that, love. By the meantime, we'll take this consolation prize, a couple of sticks of dynamite. Might make you feel better. It's a lot better and it's more value on the black market. You could type it in the Middle East or some kind of one of those wartime countries on about and maybe sell it for some money. Reply to luggage, good as new. <laughs> oh my god. The woman only discovered the device once oh, she was an Cessnock. What the fuck is Cessnock? Don't make me Wikipedia that shit. Seriously, what is Cessnock? She took it to a local police station where an officers evacuated the building as a safety precaution. Everybody get out of the office. Everyone out of the station. We have a bundle of what looks like to be lipstick. Lipstick? Mix up. So that's where it went. <laughs> oh my god. As a safety precaution, IFP in the airport commander was why Buckhorn said the IFP was taking care, taking the area seriously. Of course, not you say seriously. We can't have live lipstick blowing up in Lardy's Pages. Now, I'm going to stop doing anything, ain't you? Yeah, serious, serious business. <laughs> the canine instructor who inadvertently left this device behind has been identified and will be the subject of a former professional standards investigation, he said. End of story. That was good. Wait a minute. Left this device behind. <laughs> oh, sorry. I I thought it was the same shape, same... Which one of these does not belong? <laughs> I think just keep your hand in the proper bag until one explodes. Process of elimination. <laughs> Wake up, dude. There's puppies sniffing there. That's most important. What if, the, what if it went off? One of the poor little dogs. Yeah, explosives. Eye on the ball, guys. Come on. 